Marhaba, what's up? With your host means hello and welcome, guys and girls. By the way, in Arabic, you can say Ahlan or Marhaba for saying hello, and you can always put the Sahlan at the end. When you say Ahlan, it means hello, wa Sahlan means hello and welcome. Marhaba means also hello, and wa Sahla means also welcome. Uh, yeah, depends on the dialect you speak. But yeah, um, as maybe as you know, there are 22 uh, Arabic dialects like Palestinian, Lebanese, Iraqi, Masri, and so on and so forth. Uh, now in this video, but let's switch to the Linode instance. Um, here, by the way, if you care about my Arabic words that I'm using, check out the description below that I will put every word that I'm saying plus the English um, yeah, uh, English translation to it and yeah and also I write yeah the Arabic part not only in Arabic letters also in Latin letters okay when you see your Linode instances click on your label now you see again the SSH part here we will again connect with our terminal to our Ubuntu instance I'm using iTerm2, but feel free to use any terminal you like. Say paste and say enter. As you can see, we didn't have to enter a password or so because, the, because of the SSH key we set up in the first part. Now let me just clear the screen. Okay, now I want to um, prepare the, the Ubuntu instance because before we install software like nginx and surfboard we should be um, update our system it's always a good practice because of security guidelines and so on use always the latest batch say up update this will take now a little bit and uh, yeah notice that you see ubuntu Jammy minus security because Jammy is the Ubuntu uh, distro uh, what we're using. Yes, um, yeah, Tw 20, 22.04 is Jammy. The next one is Kinetic, by the way. Just say clear now. But as you can see now, 30 packages can be upgraded. Run this command to see to see them. So basically just say up market, say copy, say paste, so say enter. Okay, these are the ones we can update. Okay, okay, now just say clear. Now we will upgrade them, up, upgrade. Do you want to continue? Blah blah. And yes, should I wanna? I want to do the upgrade. This will also take now uh, a little bit of time. But yes, it will be done pretty quickly. And yeah, just I can talk you through what we are doing next after we have updated everything um i would just suggest to um to to reboot the instance then we'll add a new user to it and then we will start working more from the um recently created user and then we'll start to set up nginx um the latest version and yes now as you can see we can proceed say okay okay i mean you can just now go on with the you see by default some are already selected and yeah you just can say now okay i'm okay with the um selected ones uh 
yes i think it's done right now yes let me just clear again the screen by pressing the cursor up key on your um on your device you see your history just do one more up update okay i think it looks good right now i mean 30 25 out of 30 packages got upgraded five are left but that's okay for now just exit right now the the terminal exit basically you just as you can see we exited from our ubuntu instance it's closed the connection is closed we are now on our local machine again as, as you can see uh, but yeah okay we exited our instance go back to the node and i just want to make sure that everything got properly updated and upgraded so our re <laughs> reboot is, is always good so just to make things sure just click on remote linode re reboot linode uh yeah that, 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 that's okay it's rebooting i mean if it if you have any production based um instance you would not reboot it right now but yeah it's just to show you some things but yeah be careful i just want to say be careful when you are rebooting any instance on your in your company or so so yeah now we can go back to our terminal connect again uh, type enter we are here clear the screen so as i said um it's always wise to 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 use not to use root as last as possible because root is this one super user on the on any linux distro which can do a lot of damage and sometimes you be, should be very careful when you're executing stuff with root so as i know best practice is to have a sudo user which you are using instead of root and root just in uh, really necessary cases so that's why we are creating a new user right now with add user choose your username i'm going for habibi coding which might surprise you right now uh yeah you should give it a new password your user of course what i'm doing right now retype your password so full name how did we call ding? Room number no, work phone no, home phone no, other no. So just type enter, enter. Is the information correct? I guess. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Looks good. But we should also add this user to the pseudo group. So user mode. Mm, space minus a minus g for group sudo um habibi coding and now when you type uh, i typed habibi and then i press the tabulator button the tabulator key on my keyboard and it already suggested to it so I type enter and yeah now we can see if everything works let's switch switch user as u for switch user habibi uh, okay habibi coding and now you see we are habibi coding we are not root anymore you see it here uh, uh, yes i switch to the home directory Now let's see if we have really sudo right sudo ls space minus la slash root. It's asking for the sudo password for Habibi coding for my new user. Okay, and I, I typed the password, so that's correct. Otherwise, I would say password 
entering failed, blah blah blah. Say clear. Okay. So, as you can see, we are now have to be coding here. And we can also um, now, um, when we when we connect into instance, connect directly to Hobby Recording, we don't have to use the switch user. What I'm showing you right now is type exit, exit. And remember, we, we locked on first with the root. That's why we exited from Hobby Recording. We are now again root. Say again, exit. Now our connection is closed. Clear. Uh, now, just I don't know if you remember, we can here say copy this command, but wait, just paste it, don't execute it right now. And as you remember, my user was Habib coding. Say Habib coding. And just your, you type your username before the ads sign and then you can connect with it and now for how we call them we didn't set up the or we didn't um modify the ssh uh key uh, so we have to type the password again but yeah as you can see we are now um logged in with our new user say so again clear the screen and yeah that's basically it. When you when we type exit now, we didn't move back to root because we've initially knocked on Habibi coding, and yeah, now we have we are again in our local uh, local directory on our local file system of our local machine, and yeah, ba that's basically it for this part. We set up the um, new user. And in the next video, we will start to set up Nginx. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what I'm doing good or doing bad. And see you in the next video. Ilalika, Shabab, which means see you soon in Arabic. Ilalika.